Welcome to the Daily Meal for Monday the 11th of January 2021 and it's a few things to go through today. Today we had the FA Cup draws, we had the 4th round draw and the 5th round draw as well. They did the two at the same time or one straight after the other to help out with um, fixture congestion and stuff like that for the TV companies I think to help them plan. Although, I don't know what they really need to plan for because they just their picks for television games have been absolutely atrocious they've missed some of the decent games and just put the big premiership teams on even though they, they don't even play in the premiership they just play their um, backup teams they don't even make an effort but what are you going to do so the FA Cup fourth round draw we got a home game against Bristol City and in the fifth round game after that if we go through against Bristol City it's going to be an away game to Sheffield United or Plymouth Fargo and that Bristol City game is going to happen in a couple of weeks it caught and it's going to be around, around the 23rd of January we don't know what if it's going to get moved to the Sunday or the Friday even I don't know doubt it's going to be on TV because there's some uh, decent uh, tires in the other games like Man United Liverpool you know that's going to be on TV that's going to be the first choice on TV even though there's no giant cleaning involved it's two premiership teams that couldn't really give a toss but I guarantee you it's going to be on BBC prime time um, well it is what it is. We do what we do. Um, but, but anyway, the Norwich uh, home game scheduled for the Saturday 23rd is, is going to be moved now. We don't know when. Probably later. Um, if the Bournemouth and uh, Watford games are anything to go by, I'd assume it's going to be in February. So they're going to try and get in as quick as they can for some reason. I don't know why they don't wait till maybe April put in midweek April because then maybe crowds could be back but I don't know I'm not in charge of it um, I don't know there must be a reason why but they're just stacking up all the games in January and February when if they waited till April they might get a crowd and the players might not be so tired having to play two games in a week over and over and over and over again but anyway, um, another bit of news uh, from Mill Day. This is from news at den.co.uk. This is uh, Isaac Olafi has had his loan extended um, at Sutton United until the end of the season. And these, we're going to read this. This is Mill forward Isaac Olafi will remain on loan at Sutton United until the end of the season. Olafi, 21 scored five goals in 14 games this campaign after joining initially until January following a short spell at St Johnston. After Isaac scored in Saturday's 2-2 draw at home to Altrincham, manager Matt Day told his club's media his loan was actually up today but we got all the paperwork done and Tanto will be with us for the rest of the season. He's been a huge player for us, he's been absolutely brilliant since he's been here. We're really pleased we've got Tanto for the rest of the season. And Tanto's like his nickname, so that's why he's calling him that. But so he's going to be there for the rest of the season, and that's pretty much it for today's meal news. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day because we've got the uh, first team playing away at Bournemouth. We've also got the under twenty threes playing away at Swansea. So busy day tomorrow. And I'll let you know how we got on in uh, tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.